you won't get these drinks out here I got money so they put it in the bag I'm pulling off all the tags and pulling off in the jag Fuck being broke, it's broke, niggas is mad Get a job with your broke ass and get it out the hoes ass I go fast when I'm riding through the city lights I'm from the Bay West Coast with your city like New nights, fresh jeans and a snapback Hey tribe, welcome back to my channel. I'm a vibe, you a vibe, we should vibe, so you should what? You should like, comment, share, and subscribe, but only if you want to, only if you want to, only if you want to. If you're watching us, really all I appreciate. Everything else is extra, and if you do so, I greatly appreciate it. If you want that extra juicy tea, go ahead and click the link down in my description below to join my membership. A new video should be up on there, and if a new video ain't up on there by the time y'all see in this video, then y'all need to be above my comments asking me what's going on period all right y'all so this is gonna be a pride edition story time i'm gonna be telling y'all about the time i went to pride and i got totally embarrassed okay i'm going to pride this weekend on sunday and it's about to be a movie i'm going to the pride parade which is like a day party celebration and then i'm going to the after party okay period i'm so excited to go kiana J is going to be a special host and uh havana savannah the girl from baddies that's from the bay the real thick one yeah she's going to be hosting it as well so it's about to be a movie in there i'm supposed to be going with my little sis and my bestie i'm not sure if my bestie is for sure going but i know me and little sis gonna pop out and if bestie pop out y'all already know it's about to be a movie and yeah let's jump into this story time oh before we do let's get into the nellies let's get into the nelly so i did a combo of silver and gold okay i'm gonna put some pictures on the screen but it's giving queen of hearts okay i got the hearts going on i got the heart necklace with the heart earrings and then i got these little bracelets to match it's giving queen of hearts silver and gold and it's so cute i really like this look it's absolutely super girly is giving me classy hoochie for real okay period let's get into this story time this particular year i'm going to pry now y'all this was one of the years where um i was going through like a depressive state i was really just contemplating my whole life and i just felt like i wasn't getting to where i wanted to be in life i felt so behind i felt like everyone around me like my friends was just moving and going in life and i was just at a standstill i was stuck at the house at this period of time just being a mom going through it stressed out with l so my bestie hit me up she was like bestie i miss you I haven't seen you in a while let's go to pride pride is coming up i really want to go we haven't been in a long time together so i'm like you know what yes let's do it i want to go so i tell l i'm like hey i'm going to pride this weekend so yeah i'm gonna leave dylan i actually left dylan with him this particular time and as y'all know l hated anything dealing with fun now i know you guys would probably think like why would he be tripping you going to pride it's a gay parade but y'all when i tell y'all i don't know about in other places but i know here in the bay yes it's gay pride and i know it may sound kind of strange but it's not for out here but it be a lot of dudes at pride straight dudes it'd be like certain areas where it's just straight people and then you know it's pride so a lot of the most of the majority of the areas are for you know gay people can he be popping at pride y'all gonna see i'm really gonna vlog this year at pride so y'all can see how how it get down here in the back so yes you guys i remember this day oh, it was so fun but so freaking embarrassing okay anyway let's jump into it so as y'all know like i said l hates on everything fun i want to do so as it's coming up like he's asking me what i want to wear and y'all at this particular time this was way before i met miss burgundy she was not my friend yet so i think dylan had to still be like i think dylan was like maybe two or three still real small and i was dressing light hoochie not hoochie hoochie light hoochie so l was kind of asking me what i was wearing and i was just basically telling him i wasn't sure yet i had a bunch of outfits that i had but then i end up going with this one outfit y'all should see i do got a picture or two 
of me and bestie this particular day you know what i was friends with miss burgundy at this point i think we had just became friends because she had taught me how to make my own wig and i had made this hair i should try that again making my own wig because y'all gonna see the wig was looking crazy but I bet you I can make my own wig now and it be fly as hell. Let me know if y'all would like to see me doing like DIY type stuff because I just customized some shorts and they're cute as hell. Y'all know me, I'm just a creative person. So let me know if y'all would like them type of videos. Maybe I could do it on a live where I go live and then I customize stuff live so y'all can see it live, me doing it live. Let me know. So yeah, I had made this wig and it was cute for me at the time but looking back on it like i always say y'all it's not something i would do now but i'm going to talk about it how i felt in that moment i thought the wig was fly i thought it was so cute it was giving like type of gothic girl type look but anyways i had these cute flower overalls on and i had this hair i think my bestie wears some shorts or some jeans and a cute white top y'all i'll be looking at the pictures and then i'll be kind of forgetting i should have it in front of me but my phone over there and i don't feel like getting up but i'm gonna put a picture on the screen so y'all can see exactly what it was we was wearing so the day comes my bestie was coming to pick me up now at this time my bestie was driving a camaro and y'all when i tell you that made l so freaking mad now mind you bestie wasn't in a relationship at this time so i don't know we both was in relationships but i don't know anytime i'm with my friends even if they're in relationships l automatically seen automatically assumes we gonna be on whole shit no matter what it don't matter if they in a relationship or not so he was so mad about that because y'all y'all know a girl in a camaro two baddies in a camaros the dudes is gonna be looking at us so it was automatically already just mad and my overalls wasn't hoochie hoochie but they was like a little hoochie it was still giving like short but it was so cute on me anyways bestie comes she picks me up she do come inside we blow down the house a little bit she's playing with dylan and we just chop it up in the house i think we had some drinks and then we got in the car and headed out so we ride in the camaro we always try to get as close as possible maybe like oakland or something like that and then we would park and then catch the bus into san francisco because trying to park into san francisco if you don't get there before the parade or when the parade start is mayhem they got hella streets closed off it's just a lot of traffic so that's what we did we got pretty close we parked and it's just heck of dudes just like looking at oh you know what before we did hit the road we had went to the store because bestie wanted to get some um you know the stuff to roll up the tree skis in so we stopped by the store and do that and like it was just hella dudes at the store this particular day they trying to talk to me and my bestie one of l's partners was up there and you know he was giving me that look so i couldn't even like socialize which you know i'm in a relationship but he giving me that look like yeah i'm gonna go back and tell l so i'm like oh my god i already know he it was his messy friend remember the friend i told y'all him and l jumped me that day low-key that friend so i'm like i already know his big fat ass finna go back to l and lie and say that i was up in niggas faces at the store so i already know when i come back from pride me and l gonna be getting into it but i'm like you know what whatever i want to have fun but i was in like a depressive state so i did kind of have like a sad move on me i don't know how to explain it but anyways bestie going there we go in there we get like juice and we get little snacks and she get the stuff to roll up the tree skis we get in a car she roll up before we pull off and y'all it's just dudes knocking on the window trying to talk to us and we just looking at them laughing because we just like mm -mm. hey 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 who was that? Who was that? Who was that? Check it out. Come here. Check it out. Man, check it out. Hey. 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 Cause I'm just like, I told Bestie, don't even like for one, Bestie had a man, but I was just like, still, they gonna go L friend right there, gonna go back and be dry snitching to L. And at this particular time, L was hella cool with Bestie's boyfriend at the time. So I was like, just for us to avoid any drama, just don't, we not even gonna say nothing. 
I really like these cute little short daddies. They so cute and tainty, giving me professional classy bitch. So yeah, she roll up. We hit the freeway. We drive and we blowing down the house. It's dudes trying to race us on the freeway. So see you peek, but they speak it. Hold on. Hey, take that my number though. Hey, take that my number. 510 555 uh, one. My name's Sonny Bo. You feel me? Tap me in, man. Nigga out here though, I'm mama. Ask your baby daddy about me. He been shutting on me. I'm my mama. So Bestie low key racing them and stuff. We just having a good time. Bestie really trying to get me out the funk I was in so we can have a good time. So, yeah, we get there, we park, we get on BART, the BART lit, everybody in a gay pride, we are seeing heck of people on the BART, we seeing people we know, people just turning up on the BART, it's like a movie, I swear, the whole way to pride is just so fun, they are in back, it's just be so lit, so yeah, we having fun on the BART, but I'm like having mild fun, I'm not like as turned up as Bestie and everybody else, I'm just like, you know, because I was just in my head I was just going through so much mentally but I wanted to still like enjoy the moment and have fun with my bestie so finally we get to San Francisco we get off the bar and you know we just follow the crowd we I mean we know where to go but we don't know where to go because like I said me and bestie been to pride before but at this particular time I don't think I have been for a little minute so anyway, we just follow the crowd. The crowd gonna take you to where you need to go. Everybody's going the same place. So just follow where the mass is, is going and you're gonna end up where you need to be. So we get to Pride and we're looking for, cause there's like particular areas where they play particular music. We're looking for 106 KMEL, okay? That's where they playing the, the hip hop, rap and R&B. We trying to get over there because that's where, you know, our type of people gonna be and they gonna be partying it up. So we walking around, we seeing all the little booths or whatever, we taking pictures. We just like enjoying being at Pride. It was, a, it was like really lit this day. So finally we find where, you know, our people is, you know, with the R&B, rap and hip hop. And we over there, we turning up, we dancing y'all. We having like a really good time, but I'm still keeping it mild because I'm still in my head like, Ugh, I hate my life right now. We seeing people we know from high school. We saying what's up with them. We mingling with them. We dancing with them. And then y'all, we decided um, after, cause like each type of like, like party ends at a certain time. And we wanted to get to the pink party. The pink party is like super lit. Like everybody comes together on this other side of pride and like party. They be having like a phone party, balloon party, the whole streets be decorated. Everybody got their house decorated. So we trying to go to the other side. So we leave that side. We start heading to the other side. Mind you, we on this side partying and mingling and walking around for a couple hours until before we go on that side. So y'all, we start walking on that side. We get to over there where the pink party is and the pink party is always cracking. It's always lit. They play a lot of different type of music over there but it be lit my jaw the dudes is out the niggas is out the niggas is getting at me and bestie they trying to talk to us we like mingling but we don't really get no numbers because we don't know who's who here it's so many people here we don't know you feel me we wouldn't even try to risk trying to look like we getting somebody number and then one of our dude friends is out here and then they go back and snitch but we was just talking to people so y'all we get to this other side we partying and finally like i let loose we have some more drinks we blowing down the house so at this point my eyes like this i can't feel my face i'm so gone i'm so lit so yeah i'm having fun i'm dancing me and bestie dancing we having a good time y'all and oh my gosh y'all so i'm dancing the boy tapped me and he was like hey i need to tell you something and i'm like what he like look don't be embarrassed don't take this the wrong way but i think you started your period or you on your period or something and i'm like what 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 i'm like what are you talking about he's like yeah you got a red spot down there and i'm like you freaking lying he's like nah little shorty i'm just letting you know so you might want to take your little jacket and wrap it around your waist because you got a red spot 
Y'all, when I tell you, I was so goddamn embarrassed. I was like, oh my God, I could not believe it. And I don't know, y'all, I'm usually really good about bringing, you know, pads or tampons with me just in case my period might start. But this particular, I didn't think my, my cycle was going to start till the next week. It has started early this particular week. So y'all, I felt so embarrassed. I'm like, oh my God. So, he, But y'all, he was so cool though. Like he said it in like a really, really really nice way like he wasn't trying to embarrass me but I was just like thank you for telling me I appreciate it he was like you, you good little mama I'm here for the women I'm here for the women so cool he walked off y'all and I'm so embarrassed so I take my little jacket because I had this like little black cardigan and I wrap it around my waist and I'm just like damn what do I do because I literally been walking around dancing throwing ass and bitch you got a blood spot so I'm just like, for one, I didn't bring no extra pair of clothes because I'm either wearing like a purse or a small backpack. So I'm just like, you know what? Good thing I did bring my little jacket. I'm gonna just wrap it around my waist. Now, I don't say nothing to Bestie. Bestie don't even know this is going on at first because I didn't want to ruin the fun at Pride. Now, mind you, where we were, there was no stores. Now, the other part we was on, there was like a Walgreens and a CVS and stuff like that. But where we were was no stores you would have to walk like 10 15 minutes to get to a store so i'm just like damn what do i do like i'm literally on my period and i'm bleeding and i'm nowhere near a store so y'all there was some porta potty so i told my bestie like damn let's can we like let's go stand in line for the bathroom because i gotta use the bathroom so y'all we standing in line for the bathroom i had seen this boy i know and he came up to me he was talking to me he was like man you always avoiding me i've been hitting you up on facebook why you never hitting me back and i'm like dude you know i got a man you know i got a man he was like fuck your man by the stuff you be posting you don't seem happy anyway that's why i'm in your dm you need to get with a nigga like me who gonna make you happy and give you your best life and i'm just like mm, my bestie like mm, i'm like mm, it sound nice dudes be making it sound nice they really do but it's never what they saying it's never what they saying especially ones like this who's just so loud and verbal they get with you it'd be cool for the first couple of months then these be the ones that really turn up on you and have you crying in the house but anyways he was cute though but i was just like nah i'm not gonna risk it mind you we're in san francisco my baby daddy is from san francisco his family live in san francisco one of his sisters is gay well she bis she was bisexual so i'm like i cannot risk somebody seeing me talking or dancing with a dude too long so i'm just like nah like you know i gotta be in you know i got a little family he was like i'm trying to be your baby step daddy i'm a better daddy than your nigga and i'm just like oh my god walk away mind you i just want him to really stop talking to me because i know i'm bleeding and i got blood on me like you know <sighs> even when you're on your cycle in general you just feel we i don't know it's just me if it's not like a boy i know or i'm comfortable with i just automatically feel like everybody around me know i'm on my cycle like i'm always like checking cautious like so i know i'm on my cycle and i know it's on my clothes and i know i don't have no pads and i'm just like Ugh, i just feel yucky like sir please move away from me please like get away so he's just like yeah i'm gonna holla at you one day you're gonna give me your time and attention he walk away my bestie's talking to people she mingling finally it's my turn to go into the porta potty so y'all y'all know what i did you know what i hate porta potties and i usually try to never use porta potties but i had to go in there mind you it's nasty dirty oh i was like let me make this quick so i used the bathroom real quick i'm damn near throwing up dying in there y'all then i get hella tissue and i just wrap it wrap it wrap it wrap it hella thick around my damn hands and you know what i did i stuck that shit in my drawers y'all so embarrassing y'all it felt like i had a big ass diaper but i was like i'm not gonna get anywhere to where i can get past for a minute so i need to make sure i'm not like super leaking through my goddamn clothes even more than i already did so y'all i'm walking around and i'm doing that Ugh like I it just I felt like I was walking with my legs bucked out y'all it was so weird and so uncomfortable I was just like oh uh, I was so ready to go but we was just having so much fun I wasn't really ready to go and I knew when I got back to the house me and Elle was probably gonna be fighting because it's hating ass big fat ass butch ass motherfucking friend 
gonna go back and tell him that I was probably in dudes faces at the store mind you y'all L did not bother me this whole time while I was at pride which I was so surprised like he was not blowing me up or hitting me or none of that like he just let me be y'all I forgot to mention later in the end so I'm gonna just mention it right now I forgot to tell y'all why L was not blowing me up this day y'all remember this story time where I told y'all I caught him just texting a homeless bitch he was kicking it with that bitch this day that's why he wasn't bothering me <laughs> and the nerve of this nigga to be always tripping on me but i guess he was tripping on me because he knew he was doing dirt so then he thought i was probably doing dirt so yeah i come out the porta potty i think bestie went in she used the bathroom she come out i see the boy who told me that i was bleeding originally again y'all at this point it's starting to get like dark and he came up to me and he was like little mama what you still doing here like shouldn't you be leaving to go rectify your situation and i'm just like i'm about to leave soon he was like yeah he was like you too cute to be walking around with blood all over you and my bestie was like what blood because this this boy he drunk he loaded he talking so goddamn loud y'all i was just trying to keep this to myself i did not want to tell my bestie because i knew my bestie was gonna be like oh no we leaving come on and i know y'all gonna be like bitch you're nasty you should have left immediately but i was just having so much fun i really wasn't ready to go and it was just like Ugh. so she was like blood and he was like get yeah, your friend she on her period and i'm like nigga i could tell my friend what like you don't need to be yelling that out y'all it felt like he was yelling it to everybody at goddamn pride like sir come on now relax it's not that serious so y'all he just started dancing and walking off so bestie was like what's going on i'm like yeah he had told me i was on my period and i had some blood on my you know my clothes down there she was like what why you didn't tell me like let's go let's go walk to the store get you some leggings or something and get you some pants and i'm just like i didn't want to i don't know i just felt so embarrassed y'all i really didn't know what to do i had never been in that situation she was like bestie why you just didn't tell me and i was like girl i don't know like y'all at this i was just so in my head y'all like i don't know how to explain it like i was just very very depressed my mind wasn't in the right space it would be points in time where i would just be blank out staring just not even engaged in whatever was going on around me i would just be so lost in the days so bestie was like no come on we're gonna go walk to walgreens so y'all we start walking to walgreens because bestie was like no we finna go get you some leggings get you some pads and get you some wipes so you can clean up and then we can either stay or we can go but no you're not gonna walk around like that bestie like hell no nah. so i'm like all right so yeah anyways we walk in and we see these two girls we know like our older partners we see them they turning up they lit y'all next thing i know some bitches run up on them they all start fighting so we were watching because they was across the street we seen them across the street we waving at them and shit they lit as hell they always had on some like cute ass custom outfits they i don't know who made them i don't know if they made them or they got them custom made but they always had on like matching customized outfits for pride so yeah so bitches run up on them y'all they start fighting boom, 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 boom. so me and bestie across the street just watching like oh my goodness but it was a fair fight y'all nobody was beating nobody well they was beating each other up but nobody was like winning per se like they was throwing them like these are the type of girls like they they throwing them no hair pulling no none of that shit like they really like <laughs> you feel me giving it to each other then the um girls our two friends her brother was with her y'all he started pop 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 in the air everybody started running and shit i'm like oh my god so y'all we start running because once a nigga pop 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 then other dudes go pop 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 then it's pop pop you feel me so now we are running we're jetting down the street so i'm like fuck it bestie let's just go and get on the bar let's like get out of here bestie was like no we are going to take you to that walgreens as long as it's safe when we get over there and you're going to get some stuff because no we're not you're not you're not gonna ride all the way back home like that bestie so we running we running we running we finally get to walgreens and it's like cool over there by the walgreens i go into walgreens i give me some leggings i give me some pads and i got me some wipes and um 
they don't let you use the bathroom there. So we had walked to this McDonald's and we had bought something and I went in the bathroom and I like wiped up, changed. And yeah, I had a shirt on under my overalls. And then yeah, y'all, we walked back to the bar station. We got on that bar and we headed home. Now, when I got home, y'all, when I walk through the door, it's dark in the house. It's quiet, I don't hear nothing. So I go in the room, I get in the shower, I get out the shower. I'm like, okay, it'll sleep, Dylan sleep. Okay, cool, I'm about to just lay down. Y'all, when I tell you I got in that bed and laid down, next thing I know, y'all, it'll spring up out the bed. And he was like, oh, so you trying to talk to my niggas at the store? You trying to talk to, I'm like, y'all, I'm scared because I thought the nigga was asleep. It's, I turned off the lights, y'all, because if I'm not watching like an animal documentary or watching a movie and I just fall asleep, I don't like to hear loud noises or the TV unless it's like calm animal or ocean type noises or something like that going on i can't just try to go to sleep and i hear the tv like my brain won't shut down so it's dark in the room it's quiet in the room and then this nigga just flip up out the covers on top of me hollering if i was talking to his dude his partners at the store and i'm like scared as hell like i'm like what the hell is you talking about um you was at the store and y'all was talking to <coughs> I was talking to my niggas at the store. I knew you was a hoe. Ooh, hold on. <coughs> my bad, y'all. <clears throat> yeah, but yeah, he all screaming and shit in my face trying to tell me that I was trying to talk to his partners at the store and that I was all in their face and I was getting their numbers and stuff. And he was like, that's weird as hell that you would do that. No, you know they're my partners. And I'm like, whoa. First of all, get the, y'all, because he on top of me. Like, he pounced on top of me. I'm like, dude, get the hell up off of me. I'm like, you just scared the shit out of me. I'm like, for one, that's not cool. Like, you tripping. I was not talking to none of your partners at the store. I didn't even know some of them was L partners. I didn't know all the dudes L hung out in the apartments. I only would know the ones he would bring to the house. The other people he would be around, I would drive by some time and see him outside with these people. But I was never just like looking at these people, checking them out, like knowing exactly like, oh, that's whoop de whoop. That's whoop de whoop. And that's whoop de whoop and whoop de whoop and whoop de whoop and whoop de whoop. Like, I, no, I wasn't doing all that. I don't be all up in my, my dude's friends' faces. I'm not like that. So I'm like, for one, they was trying to talk to me and Bestie and me and Bestie was not even saying anything back to them. They followed us in the store, followed us around to the store. We got back in Bestie car. She rolled up and they was trying to talk to us. We never even rolled down the window. I'm like, I already know who told you this information. You could tell that big fat ass Buffalo. He needs to stay out of our business, stay out of our relationship. Stop watching me. Stop hating on me with his big water buffalo beat back ass and worry about what the fuck he got on, going on. Like, why is your pot? so worried about me all the goddamn time he must want to ask me he's trying to break me and you up because he think me and him gonna talk and it's never gonna happen so y'all i said what i said and i put the blanket back over me and i just laid there y'all he just talking smack and i'm just like i'm tired i just partied the day away i'm on cloud a hundred thousand you over here trying to do all this rah 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 and i gotta get up the next day to go to work sir I, I, I'm not listening. So y'all, he's just talking and I'm just laying there. I'm not listening. I, I'm not, I put the blanket over my head and I don't even like putting a blanket over my head because I cannot breathe under the blanket. But I'm just like, bro, I, I'm not doing this with you. I don't, I don't care. I told you what I said. I told you what happened. Everything else was irrelevant. Like get out of my face with that. After a minute, he just laid out. He was like, yeah, all right, all right, all right. I know my niggas don't lie. I know my niggas don't lie. You lie. So you probably hang out with a gang full of lying ass niggas. They, they all look dusty, rusty, crusty, trifling. What are you talking about? He lying. Like, come on now. Why would I go to the store that's right there by our house where I know you be there all the time and talk to somebody? Do I look stupid? No, you look stupid. I don't look stupid. You look stupid. Like, what are, what are you talking about? You and your dumb ass partners all stupid. But yeah, y'all. That was how pride went that year. I did have a blast. I did get embarrassed. It was awkward, but we did have fun overall. Of course, it'll go ruin the night at the end of the day because I can't have no joy without him having joy. And then if I'm having more joy than he having joy, then he got to burst my bubble. 
<sighs> and then you know what y'all after so long i start doing that to him y'all i would try to make l so mad and be so evil to him because he just rained on my parade so much and dimmed my light so much it was like i have to now dog you out the way you dog me out so you know how i feel but he wouldn't leave i don't know but yeah, y'all, that's the end of my story time. I'm a vibe, you a vibe, we should vibe, so you should what? You should like, comment, share, and subscribe, but only if you want to, only if you want to, only if you want to. If you're watching, that's really all I appreciate. Everything else is extra, and if you do so, I greatly appreciate it. If you want that extra juicy tea, go ahead and click the link down in my description below to join my membership. All right, deuces. Ooh, look at my Nellies. The little short daddies is so cute. Love them, period.